Hello, welcome back to Zondercost. I have ordered all of the goblins that we have captured dumped down here, which probably includes the ones in the zoo as well. But uh, I want to watch them explode. That's that's my idea of fun for a Tuesday morning. So, uh, right, so we still got a skeleton there. Ooh, actually, I'm going to forbid that. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, somebody was on their way to go and take that to the refuse pile. Oh, there's some dead goblins. Uh, what kind of bits did we get there? Yeah, we got uh, some more limbs. Yeah, they basically just explode into their various parts. So there's several there. That will... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you got to not do that, please. Right, just forbid all of those. Because if you get a goblin dropped on your head, it'll be your own fault. Okay. Uh, it looked like another one there. Wowzers. Right. Um, forbid those. Yeah, it doesn't quite splat as much as I thought it would. thought maybe they would kind of splat across this corridor, but um, yeah, that's another one. Ah, uh, stop giving me cancellation spam. Look at this crap. Okay. Yeah, kind of like that. That's what I was expecting. Yeah, don't... Don't get these things. Because, yeah, if, uh... If getting a sock or something dropped on my head is enough to kill them instantly, then I'm pretty sure that, uh... Oh, there's another one. Wow, how many of these have I got left? Alright, okay. Uh, I don't know. It looks like we got at least two more. And that will be all of the goblins. And now I have to go all the way back down here. There we go. Please stop with the cancellation spam. Alright, you've ended a mandate. Are you still alive? Yes, you're still alive. Unfortunately. Okay, so I should see two more go splat. And hopefully nobody stand underneath it. It's always a worry. Uh, once they have splattered them all, I will of course unforbid all of the stuff there so that they get it out. Oop, there's one. Yep. There we go. Expecting the next one any minute. And there we go. I can see the body parts just kind of splatting. And ah, the Dwarven Caravan, that is excellent news. But, yeah, I think that should be all of them. I will go ahead and claim all that stuff now. If anybody gets squished, it's their own stupid fault. Alright. So, yeah, that should be a shitload of goblin bones out of that. Yeah, I mean, look at all those limbs. I have to wait a very long time for them to melt. Uh, rot, even. But, uh, oh dear, I got some... Let's see if the caravan guards go after those guys. No? No, they're okay. Can you just stop? <laughs> just... Oh my word. Right, uh, what do we even have to trade? Oh well. Besides these things. I mean, I guess I've all got all of that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and ask them to move all of that to the trade depot. And it will be done off camera, I think. Because there's a lot of stuff. It's going to take a long time, so I'll be back in a second. Ah, uh, well, uh, we have another possession, so they are actually moving all that stuff to the trade depot, but... Yeah, our metalsmith has become possessed, and he's claimed the nearest metalsmith's forge, so uh, that's cool. Immediately grab some adamantine. Uh, yep, nothing else. So we're going to get an adamantine artifact. And hopefully it's not a crutch. Where's that? Interrupted by Forgotten Beast again. You're a bit high up this time. Surely you can't see that from up there. There's no way, man. Uh, I don't know. Is this the one uh, made of clay stone? I don't even remember that one. Whatever. I wish they'd clean this... Uh, I wish they'd clean this blood up. It's a little bit disturbing, really, with all this goblin blood and stuff. But, uh, it's fine, I suppose. Yeah, we are rapidly filling up these refuse stockpiles. There is an alarming amount of corpses out here. That's why I tried to explode them by dropping them down that hole. 
because they're pretty much useless unless I can uh, drink. <sighs> yeah, I will, of course, give my uh, broker a chance to get the hell over here, but uh, no, that's the help menu. Uh, but yeah, it might take him a while. Right, who's that over there? I think they might still be moving all those clothes in there. But yeah, you can see I've channeled the next uh, row over. So I'm really just waiting for some logs to... Why is there ice floating? Surely there's no floor there. Oh, it's a marble block floor. Uh, that needs to go away. Because, uh, yeah, I have... I can't tell if I've told that to be removed, because the ice is in the way, but... It shall be gone, momentarily. Right, you in the depot, store item and stockpile, of course. Of course, look how many, uh... Oh, yeah, right, we've begun constructions. Right, so you got yourself some adamantine, some marble, purple spinels, more marble, vampire opal, cave spider silk, logs, no! The logs are more precious than the adamantine at the moment. And some goblin bone. Well, that's cool. And it's actually kind of cool that the only bones that we get to use are goblin bones, usually. Sometimes some elf bones, but... But, yeah. Uh, are you doing that? Yes, there you go. Where did that ice go, though? Did you move it here? Yes. Yes, it did. Well done. You didn't just drop it on somebody's head. Not that there's anybody down there, but... So we can place a few of these. Well, two of them anyway. There we go. Actually, uh, well, no, I better wait until. Yeah, I better wait until I've channeled out the rest of that ice there, because if it's next to the ice and it freezes everything, I would be annoyed at myself. So are you here? Store item in bin. For crying out loud, this is more important. Okay, whatever. Anyone can trade. Let's see what they have. I didn't bother checking the wagons on the way in, so... There's a whole bunch of people moving shit in here. I don't know who is here to trade or not. Anybody? Oh, we have zero idlers. What exactly are you taking? Surely you're not... Ah, They're taking the clothes out of the trade depot. Why would you do that? Why? Why would you store them instead of trading them? I mean, look, they're all pending. <sighs> My god. Anybody? Alright, I need to... Yeah, I'm gonna pause the recording and wait for them to stop being a bunch of massive idiots. Oh, we'll have a look at this first, though, actually. Uh, our metalsmith has created Bubnusmanang. An adamantine chain leggings. Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. 1.24 million dwarf bucks. Uh, so yeah, round marble cabochon studded with adamantine. Decorated with cave spider silk and encircled with bands of marble cabochons, menaces with spikes of saguaro rib. So it has uh, an image of itself. On itself, the name of this artifact is Scoured Drill. Hmm, it's got an image of Half Moon and has an image of Ilral Tin Budded, the dwarf, and dwarves in Goblin Bone. Ilral Tin Budded is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf. Ilral Tin Budded to the position of Queen of the Stake of Books in 141. So, our Queen is actually relatively new. Because, I mean, we embarked here only ten years after they became queen. So that's uh, a little bit unusual. Usually it's just like a vampire who became the monarch in year one. <laughs> and just never died. But anyway, let's wait for something to go right with the trading. I don't know what's going on. Well, uh, finally they brought at least some of this stuff to the trade depot, but, uh, yeah, guess who didn't bring any logs? <laughs> Fuck! Why? Why do you do this? I mean, I didn't ask for any, but at the same time, I didn't... 
You know, I always buy logs. Surely they know that I want some logs. Oh. God damn it. Right. Well. Yeah, lesson learned. I have already asked the uh, liaison to bring stuff next time, so. Lesson learned. Don't do this again. Don't ignore the liaison. But I guess we can buy some other stuff. Yeah, everything is forbidden because I tried to get them to not like take stuff out of the depot that I was trying to trade. No idea why they were doing that, but there you go, that's dwarfs. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll buy some booze. Uh, and they are more than welcome to just have a crap load of profit, really. But I will look for some bolts. Uh, if I can find them. Yep, here we go. I should be able to buy some of these. Uh, perhaps a significant portion of them. Uh, yes, about all of them. That seems reasonable. With your trade goods such as they are. Blah. Trade? There we go. Yeah, go on, take all the bloody crap. Uh, it took so long to get somebody to actually trade, even setting it to anyone can trade. And now, of course, there's an absolute crap load of clothes in there. Which they're all going to store on the finished goods stockpile, but... Uh, whatever. Yeah, one of these days I'll actually get my stockpile sorted out, because I mean, I've just got this huge finished goods stockpile over here, which is just going to get filled up with destroyed clothes, and I really could uh, set it... Uh, what are you... what are you asking for? Well, whatever. But yeah, I could set it up so that we only get destroyed clothes in one, uh, in one pile. So yeah, they're still trying to bring them to the depot for some reason. I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, we don't have any logs now. And I know that the elves won't bring any. I just, I get the feeling like this world is just completely devoid of trees. <laughs> I t like, unless I specifically ask the mountain homes to bring logs, nobody brings any. What the hell? But anyway, uh, I have some adamantine leggings. I don't know what to do with those. I don't think they're as good as greaves. But with them being adamantine, uh, I'm not sure. I could just, uh, I could give them to one of my uh, Marks dwarves. Yeah, this guy. You specific pants, uh, that would be them, I would imagine. So, you can stick to leather legwear, I guess. You can wear them with leather trousers, I think. So what do they want us to export to them, anyway? Rock musical instruments, it's very specific. Uh, amulets, prepared meals, it's always good when you get a 200% markup on prepared meals, I mean, Jesus Christ, whoops. Uh, go away, bloody thing, right. Yes, my pumps still appear to be there, I'm just checking. But yeah, without logs, I cannot progress here, and that is frustrating, it really is. Uh, because, yeah, it's just not gonna, not gonna happen, is it? Ah, bugger. Well, let me pause the recording and think things over for a while, and maybe wait until we can actually make some progress. Well, as you can see from this hive of activity over here, I have uh, basically just claimed everything on the surface, which is probably going to get somebody killed. <laughs> but never mind, we did just kill a kobold that just... Managed to sneak up to about here and got spotted by the dogs. Uh, I don't think anybody else got hurt, but yeah. Um, yeah, because we have literally nothing else to do. Uh, I'm just waiting on logs to finish my mechanisms. That's it. So, yeah, we might as well stockpile the enormous amount of clothes and weapons left to us by our friendly neighborhood goblins, which is probably going to fill this up quite quickly. Yeah, unfortunately I can't make stone bins. That would be useful, wouldn't it? I think it would be a little bit too heavy, but then you can make silver ones anyway, so... Yeah, it seems a bit odd. Or maybe you can make stone bins, maybe I'm just... 
Uh oh. Uh oh, that's uh what's that? Oh dear, he's lost his right hand. Where's the goblin though? What? Uh Snatcher. Where's it gone? It's still invisible. I, d I don't know where it is. Well, you better move over here. Oh, there it is. Uh, there goes the hand flying away as well. Oh, did you kill the child? Yeah, I think you killed the child. Where's the corpse? No, you have the child. Uh-oh. Minus a hand, but... Do you not want to take the... Oh, oh... Oh, that's a mutilated corpse. I don't think you want that guy. Or maybe we're misunderstanding what exactly they take them for. But I don't know. I don't think he particularly wanted to uh, kill a child and then take its corpse. I'm pretty sure he wanted it alive. But it is gone. Well, that's weird. Dwarven child has been found dead. And you know why? Because he left his hand behind. <laughs> that's that must be it. They just went Oh yeah, that's his hand, isn't it? Well I gotta claim all of his stuff now. Yeah I'm starting to think. Well I'm not sure if I can do it, but uh let's pick a child at random. No, I can't assign a child a war dog because that would at least stop them walking right into Goblin Thieves, because I think the dog would spot it. It would be nice if I could do that. Uh, yeah, it does, there's no way I can get them to adopt a war dog, I don't think. But yeah, that's all there is to report, really. We keep getting random ambushes here and there. Uh, still got 53 citizens. We do get the random birth here and there. And we collected all this crap. And that's it. So I'm going to pause the recording again and wait for something more substantial to happen. Uh, I guess just so many people have died here or something ridiculous, but we have yes another possession. Uh, it described him... Which one is it? Is it that one? Where are you? Yeah, it is that one. Oh, there's a clue there standing underneath him. So yeah, a mason has been possessed, and I could, well, I didn't already have so many legendary crafters. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you know I might be a little bit pissed off that it's only a possession, but now it's going to also save in the middle of him grabbing stuff. So let's wait a minute. Okay, there we go. And what did you grab already? It looks like he's after something. So grab some diorite, gar gab gabbro and elk bird leather. Alright, what does he want? Let me guess it's logs, right? Leather, tree life, yeah. He wants some logs. Rough gems, cloth, thread. That's alright. Uh, it looks like he wants two logs. And two thread, by the way, hang on it. But I did go ahead and build these axles, but now I'm going to have to dismantle them. But, uh, yeah, it looks like he wants two logs. Hopefully somebody gets out there and does that quite quickly. But as you can see, everything is looking a little bit neater, is it not? Well, what are these barrels? They are gnome blight. Well, isn't that useful? And... Alright, a stack of bolts. Yeah, we don't have a lot of stockpile room for bolts. I did just make a stockpile here for arrows, and we can see that we have several bins full of arrows now. Which we can't use, but we can sell them. And yeah, just generally, the place is very cleaned up and looking good. Uh, not that that particularly matters, but... And yeah, look at that finished good stockpile. Oh my word. Absolutely crammed full of useless crap. But I guess we won't need to make any clothes for a while. They're not particularly good quality, these goblin clothes, but... It's better than nothing, I suppose. Alright, so have you dis dismantled that? You have. Did, uh, did he grab the logs? Oh, there he goes. I guess they were stockpiling it. Oh dear. There is a kobold killing one of my kittens. 
Okay, you you are very quickly going to die, but so is this kobold. So fear not, little kitten. I will avenge your death. Oh, bloody hell. He's taking off. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I forgot I had them training up there. Yeah. Yeah, you got shot. Nice. Yeah, my uh, my Mark Storms don't get much of a chance to kill people. But uh, on that note, I will actually check their kills. You have none. So that's nice. I mean, yeah, you're an expert Marksdorf, and you've never killed anyone. That's a little bit silly, honestly. You have two notable kills. Right, you used to be a hunter. You were our only hunter, so you're basically our best Marksdorf. And you've killed a bunch of animals, including some yetis, which is quite impressive. Not very, but, you know. And you've killed two wombat women. Wow, I really need to get those guys into a fight at some point. It's, why is there only three of them up there? Did we lose one? No. There should be at least four of them there. Unless one of them's just like stood on top of the other one. Ah, here we go. He's begun his construction. Using all of my logs. All two of them. Uh, uh. I thought he was asking for thread. It definitely said thread. But yeah, it looks like he wanted wool, so... Uh, but yeah, other than that, still nothing going on. I was just looking at the cavern layer that goes through the marble. And thinking, that's a lot of trees. Look at all of those trees in there. There are some forgotten beasts, but... Yeah, I... I want to dig through this. Uh, where is the main staircase? I know it goes through here. Okay, let's go... Uh, is that it? Ah, I see. I didn't dig it down that far. I suppose I can use the well shaft. Yeah, that would make sense. Well, as much sense as digging into a cavern layer full of forgotten beasts makes. Uh, but I will dig out a little room here. Um, yeah. So I don't want to... Well, I suppose I can just dig into that thing there. Like, I just... I didn't want to join it onto this pit, but I don't suppose it matters, really. But if I just dig a little room first, and... Yeah, that can be like a nice little antechamber. Oh, it looks like I'm our miners were sitting around idle with nothing to do. So that's good. Now, I could make this sealable right away. But it already is. I mean, this goes all the way up to the well, which is sealable. Although I've never tested that bridge. <laughs> uh, where, where was it? Yeah. So as soon as I bust through that wall, uh, there's definitely forgotten beasts down here. I'm fairly certain of it. But um, where they are, I do not know. Uh, but what I could also do is just station my squad there. Uh, wherever the hell it was. Where the hell did I dig through? So everything looks the same in these cavern layers. Right here. There we go. Right, so I'm going to station squad A down here. Uh, it's not going to be squad B. Hopefully nobody dodges down those holes. That would be unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, they should get down here in a couple of seconds. They're uh, quite punctual. Yep, here they are. Hello. Right, dig through these walls and hold on to your anuses because they are about to get brutally brutalized. Okay, what was that? I saw something over there, I'm sure. Uh, right, millions of you have struck messages because we've just seen a bunch of stuff. Now, hopefully these guys don't get bored and wander off, because, oh, there's a child here. Why? Are you related to them or something? I've seen him hanging around with them a lot. Ah, yes. The Fabulous Sanctuary is this child's mother. Yeah, you don't want to stand there. I, I'm surprised that they actually have a living child. The amount of combat that they see. Oh, here we go, here we go. Right, there's a dog that's stunned. There's a forgotten beast. 
Yeah, that child is just like right underneath the Forgotten Beast. Uh, let's have a look at you. Are you okay? Yeah, he probably won't suffer too much. Oh, are you stunned? Wow. Must have just charged at him, but I'm sure he'll recover quickly enough. Uh-oh. Where's the Forgotten Beast gone? Oh, the dogs are all running away. Did it die? I can't see its body. Uh, I can't see anything. Uh, there's some vomit. Is that the child's vomit? I think it might be the dog vomit. I'm not sure. But where is the Forgotten Beast? Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I hate caverns. Did I, ever, did I ever mention that? Right, you're coming up here? Oh, okay. Right. Well, yeah, in any case, these guys have to stay down here. They have provisions, so they're not going to die or anything. But they're going to hate me. So they're going to stay stationed there while I cut down all of the trees that I possibly can. And now I wonder how many axes we have. Because I've claimed all the goblinite. So we should have quite a few. I'm not sure if they ever bring axes though. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. Because I want to assign some more uh, woodcutters. Alright, so let's have a look at Dwarf Therapist. Uh, woodcutting. I do have one dwarf set to woodcutting who is currently having a strange mood. So that's not great. But yeah, I want to make sure that they're not a miner and they're not in the military. That's uh or a child. So let's go down. Right, you carpenter and mason. In fact, yeah, let's just go for it and just make masons and stone detailers and carpenters and woodcutters all have the same job. There you go. Everybody is happy. And hopefully they'll, well, I don't know, not being particularly skilled uh, in cutting down trees, it's going to take them a while, but now you, you ought to not be down here. Why are you here? Right, you followed the military down here, and now you're just going to hang out like an annoying little brat. Uh, you've made a diorite throne, have you? Well... Uh, whoops, that's the record button. The Tightness of Honor. 18,000 dwarf books. Well, at least they didn't use any adamantine. Let's have a look at this. Uh, encrusted with things and stuff. It has an image of Petal Torrid, the sliver of spreading the adamantine crutch. And it has an image of the entry of shutting, the raw adamantine floodgate. And an image of two dwarves. Ah, oh, I'd like to think that's quite romantic. So, I guess we can put that somewhere. Oh, we got a nice fancy chair. Maybe, well, we've got an artifact table in the uh, Count's, the Duke's room. <laughs> uh, and yeah, just a bog standard 10 dwarf book chair next to it. So, I guess we'll get rid of that chair and then put the artifact on there. Seems reasonable. And there we go. Build a chair. And which one is it? Oh, it's not been right. Somebody's stockpiling it, I think. Yeah, I'll just wait for that. You've discovered an expansive deep cavern underground. Really? That would make the fourth one. Oh, does this? Uh, I think this connects into the other one. Cave spider, as long as it's not a giant cave spider. If there's one thing that I think would actually destroy my current militia, the melee guys anyway, it's uh, it's a giant cave spider. Because they basically just trap you and you'll never ever get out again. Alright, I've struck. Did I just see a stunned kitten? I'm pretty sure I did. Where was that? It was over here somewhere maybe? I don't know, it's just, uh, well, yeah, it's, what exactly happened to this kitten? 
I just, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, that dog's about to die, isn't it? If only the animal care labor actually did anything. But yeah, in the next episode, we shall be tentatively watching out for beasties in the cavern, cutting down more trees, and uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Forgotten beasts. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Right. Find out the conclusion to this uh, predicament in the next episode. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.